All right, everybody. So this morning I went on um, ahead. I came in to work out, and what I started doing at least last week was right after my workout, I decided I was going to go ahead and just try and run on the treadmill itself. But I started out running like for like about a half a mile. Then I decided, okay, let me scratch that. Let me just. Um, try and do some walking just for a short distance and once I start doing the walking for the short distance then I can progress up to a full scale uh, run maybe out on the streets so the same path that I normally would traditionally do on my bike run I'm going to try and do that on my running when I start but I got to get some really good shoes because the shoes I got are not really worth even trying in because I know my feet are going to hurt but I'm going to give it a try, see how it works, see how everything is like going on. But I feel very, very good. I do have a good start. So let me take you kind of a step back here. Initially, when I first started, it was around about, I was about about 224 pounds. Then I started on at least a mile ride, then a two mile ride, then a five mile ride, then an eight mile ride is where I topped off at. And because I topped off about that eight mile ride a day allowed me to lose 10 pounds in less than 30 days, right? And so on top of that, I then decided to go ahead and get in the gym and start doing some light exercises. Now, earlier in the year, I um, actually hurt myself, rotator cuff and left arm. Still trying to get over that pain since April. So it's kind of impacted the way that I lift. So I could probably lift about 135 pounds you know, at least pretty decently, where I used to be able to uh, work out about 225 to 300. And so it's going to be a slow journey recovering, but I do a couple of different things throughout the week just to keep myself, you know, in really, really good uh, shape, as best shape as I can. Now with me being about 214, 214 pounds, I can stand and lose maybe a little bit more, maybe get to about 210. We'll see how it goes from there. The whole purpose of my journey is, is there's somebody out there who has not yet started that is looking to start their journey on a positive path that's going to be a good starting point for them, right? So they may not get to the idea of weight that they want, but you have to pretty much go with what fits you. And whether you get personal trainers or not, that's entirely up to you, but you just have to know where, you, where your end goal is how far that you want to go and then go towards that goal slowly even if it's you starting out once a week or twice a week or five days a week whatever it may be find something that is that is going to work for you it's going to work best for you so that way you can move on like with your journey and everything so that's what my journey was here so I'm going to get out get back on the trail out there then we'll pick up with part two um, here in a moment so then as I was saying earlier, I just like get out on the trail. I just start riding. It's really been helping me out like a lot. Look at this. <laughs> and I enjoy it a lot. And what's so cool about it is that I get a chance to be free, enjoy myself without no problems. You forget about the things that could be upsetting you in life getting yourself into some good shape and then the best part of it the best part about it, let me stop here for a second the best part about it is just like with any other you know trail or any other point you get the opportunity to kind of stop at different points take you a little break and then you begin to actually see what's going on around you now what i do now i have a helmet on because these squirrels that be running around out here these squirrels i feel like sometimes they just be throwing these acorns at you but i had a couple of, inc um, of incidents where as i was riding on, on the trail a squirrel would be on one side of the um, path and then they would run in front of me and i literally ran over a couple of them but i keep this on the course of safety just in case you know if i get you know, hit somebody to try to run me off the road, but take my backpack with me and everything, and I get that all situated there, so that way I can at least be safe, but 
But the whole version of me wanting to definitely put the, the video portion out, people, is that like he, I have just been on this kick for years. Uh, the last three to four years, I hadn't even exercised consistently the way that I do right now. And the reasoning behind that is that I had no motivation whatsoever. But it took me seeing my stomach getting big to up to 224 pounds. And I decided I got to do something about this because I don't want to be an old man with a beer belly riding around, going out in public, shirts don't fit, pants don't fit. What can I do about this right now? And that started a whole other journey on its own by itself. And I couldn't have it no other way. And two, I want to be able to live a long, healthy life. Now, I've changed a little bit of my eating habits. I don't eat as much meat as what I used to. I used to consume about 9 to 10 cups of coffee a day. I've reduced that down to maybe at least 1 to 2 cups a week right now. No sugar, no cream. I don't do any of that. I used to consume a lot of uh, beef. I would eat a lot of burgers. Um... Uh, a lot of fries. I don't eat as much as that during the week anymore. I still do eat meat. I still I haven't changed my diet significantly except for I have removed out like a lot of bread. Uh, I don't eat as many burgers as what I used to. And if I do consume like burgers and stuff like that, it'll be just maybe for like one meal setting throughout like a seven day part of, of the week. But I don't eat as much meat as what I used to. I'm not really like a steak person or anything like that. I don't eat as much. Uh, I probably eat steak maybe like once a month. And that's about, that's, that's, that's about as far as I go like with that even even i don't even think i think once a month is probably too much it, I mean, it's very rare that i do that but the whole thing the whole point of me making a video is to increase the motivation in people in getting yourself back to where you want to be at your convenience now i did give up my red cheetos or red chips cut back on the coffee, cut back on the sodas for sure. Because them sodas will bloat your stomach up. Them sodas will bloat your stomach up to a point where you will just be kicking them back like a six pack. You don't need to do that anymore. But if you don't do anything else, just find out a way to get, get yourself like back into some decent and good shape. Because you need that and you deserve that. And it took one of my friends had given me a bike he gave me a bike two years before I actually used it it sat in my garage just collecting dust and I just one day just got on and just rode a mile and that changed my life changed my life for the better and it can change yours too but I want you all to be healthy I want you all to be able to lose that weight and it doesn't take you to talk to a fitness expert to know that about yourself. But you're going to have to get up and do something. You have enough time to go and get the snacks, right? The chips, the sodas, all of that. You have enough time to do all of that, but you don't have enough time to get yourself back into the shape that you want so that you can move the way that you want to move. And trust me, a lot of you want to move differently than what you're moving right now. You just don't have nobody to push you. But somebody going to push you. Maybe the person you're dating or the person you with, they'll push you. You start seeing them look at somebody else and wonder why that person's in shape and you not. That's going to hurt you. Because who would not want to be in the best shape if they're meeting someone? I do know this as a fact. A ladies look at a man and she's looking to, and she's definitely looking at, at that man being fit. That man is definitely looking at that lady being fit. A man loves a woman that takes care of her body and that is fit. We all like somebody who is at least fit. Fit means that you are about 
the right size that you need to be for the class of your weight. Period. You don't have to be a bodybuilder. You don't have to be a gym enthusiast, but at least you are the correct size for your age and for your weight. That's what we need right now. Getting everybody back to the basics. And once you change that, you all, once you change your size and your weight, I guarantee you, people are going to look at you different. People are going to treat you different. I've even noticed that in public, that people treat people different. When they body look good, they treat them different. But I'm going to leave y'all, you all with that. I'm going to get back on here. I'm going to get back on my ride and everything. And hopefully this will make sense to somebody out there. So like, listen, and subscribe. Lifestyle by SK, where wine, cigars, and relationships create a tape of extraordinary experience. You all have a good rest of your day.